Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about 10.9 amplitude of sine and cosine. In the last uh, uh, video, we were talking about how to draw the graph of sine and cosine function, right? So do you remember how to draw them? Okay, so let's review a little bit before we talk about amplitude. So, <clears throat> this is the do now. So draw the cosine, y equal to cosine x, where the domain is, x is negative two pi radian to two pi radian. Negative two pi radian, two pi radian is how many degrees? 360 degrees, but negative 360 degrees and positive 360 degrees. But you see the graph here, right? Now, this is a cosine curve. When you put in the calculator, if you put in the calculator, so you will see the graph here. But if you don't understand what it means, this interval, you might make mistakes. So what did I say? When you see the, if you didn't do anything, you, if you see the graph like this, this one interval is how many degrees is it? Yes, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, right? Which is pi over two radian. Pi over two is here. Then what is here? 180 degrees or one pi radian. But we should go up to where? Up to? 2 pi radian. So 3 pi over 2 radian, 270 degrees, and 2 pi radian. You stop here. You are going to draw the graph from here. And, but, how about negative? Same way, negative 90, negative pi over 2 radian, pi radian, 180 degrees, negative 3 pi over 2, 270 degrees, negative 2 pi, 360 degrees negative. So you should draw the graph from here, here, here. Looks like this is like a semicircle. Don't draw the straight line from here to here, please. It's not straight line. It's like a semicircle, semicircle, semicircle. Okay. So let's go with the calculator one more time. Let's go to the calculator. Now we go, before you do it, better, uh, when you draw the graph <clears throat> in the calculator, you better look at the degree first, right? Oh, you are in the degree mode. Because in the calculator, when you look at the table with the radian mode, it's very confusing in the table, right? You cannot see the highest value or lowest value because what it goes by one, two, three radian, it will not be clear. So you better see with the degree mode. So, but X goes up by mostly, I set 45 degree. You want to see from zero to zero and they'll go by 45 degree. That's the way we set, right? So degree mode, you are in the degree mode and then go to the table set, table set, 0, 0.45, you change this to the 45 degree. It's up to you, you can change it in other number, whatever you like, but I prefer with the 45 here. And then go to the function. Which function do you draw? It was cosine, right? So it was cosine. So I'm going to draw the cosine. So cosine is here. And then look at the graph. If you see the flat graph, it's a flat, then what should you do? You go to the zoom and then trigonometry seven, right? If you do this, then you will see this kind of graph. So zero degree start with one, right? Highest value is here, one and the 90 degrees is zero, 
under 80 degrees become negative one, and 270 degrees, three pi over two radian is zero, and then 360 degrees, one, right? Everybody get it? So this, so we are going to draw from negative 360 degree to the positive 360 degrees, negative two pi radian, positive two pi radian. So you know how to use the calculator. Good, please practice a few times until you become very familiar. All right, so, <clears throat> so you have this graph, but you are going to throw from here to here and make sure you label properly, negative two pi, negative one pi, here's a zero pi, two pi. Here's what? Pi over two, three pi over two, like this. And y value one, negative one. You need to label properly. And then now let's go to the today's lesson. Amplitude is simple, not difficult, all right? So your graph looks like this, right? And you, you should label properly. The domain is from zero to two pi, but sometimes it's one period, but period, don't worry about it. We are going to talk about it tomorrow. So one period from here to here, one cycle. So now, here is, you see y equal to cosine x. If two is multiplied to cosine x, what will change in graph? Can you think about it? <clears throat> you multiply two to the cosine, the re re result of the cosine, which means when x is zero degree, it is one, but the result times two, it will go up to two here, right? But zero times zero is zero, so this one doesn't change, but here it goes up by two. How about when the 180 degrees, <clears throat> negative one, but when you multiply two, what happened? Uh, it does negative one times two is negative two, it goes down. So do you see what's going on? Ah, so y value stretches become twice, right? Positive value goes higher by twice. Negative value goes down by twice. So graph will look like this. Do you see it? So <clears throat> definition of amplitude is the height from the center line to the maximum or minimum. So where is the center line? Center line is here always, X axis is the center line, right? But if you add a number or subtract a number, the center line goes up when you add a number or when you subtract, it goes down. We will talk about it tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. But not today. The center line is here in the x-axis, right? From this center line to the maximum, what is the height from here? How many goes up? Two, right? How many goes down? Two, it's the same because it's in the center. To the maximum or to the minimum, it's the same. What is it? Two, where's the two in the function? Here, oh. So this number two in front of the cosine function, right, determine the amplitude. Even the whole graph shift, the amplitude is the same from here. Everybody understand? Right, so what is the amplitude? What determines the amplitude? This number in front of the cosine function. So sometimes, you don't see the function, then how do you find the amplitude? So you get the difference between maximum and minimum values. 
the maximum minus minimum, but you should make absolute bit. All right? Absolute bit. Because it's a distance. So even though the here A is a negative, your amplitude is positive. Let's say A is a negative two, still amplitude is positive. Your graph will be upside down, but still amplitude the, to the maximum will be two, right? And the minimum will be two or negative two. Right? So you subtract maximum minus minimum and then divide by two. You know why you divide? Which is an average, all right? Not average actually, sorry. So you, you subtract minimum from maximum divided by two. That will be amplitude. When you don't have this number, you can calculate this way. Let's see one example. If oh, one is added to the sign, two sine x, what is the maximum value and the minimum value? What happened? What is amplitude? So can you think about it? But I already mentioned, right? When you add one, what happened? So now I want you to go to the Google Classroom, answer this question. So I will give you a hint. The whole center line from here goes up by what? This number one. So your center line through the dashed line here. And you're going to draw the graph two sine x. So zero, so zero start from here. Your graph will go like this, right? But look, I need you to take a look at the calculator by yourself. And then if you see two sine, you know how to draw the two times sine x, right? And it is shifted up by one, whole graph shifted up by one. Okay, now you can see the result like this. So you need to draw this dash line. And you look at the table. So zero here, when the 90 degrees, highest value, 180 degrees in the center line. 270 degrees here. Look, so because it was shifted up by one, highest value is in the three, you need to label three here. And then negative two became negative one, right? So negative one here. Make sure you draw the graph after that. Plot the, these four points, important. Is zero degrees, nine degrees, and what is it? Two uh, this is 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. Or by radian, zeros, pi over two radian, pi radian, three pi over two radian, two pi radian. So you mark, the plot these points critical points, and then connect, right? Connect from ne negative two pi radian or negative 360 degrees, you draw the curve like this, okay? So you remember what is amplitude? Yeah, where is the amplitude? Two. If this is negative, what is the amplitude? Still two you should get the only positive value for amplitude, all right? Because amplitude is a distance from, distance is, cannot be negative, from the center line to the maximum, or from center line to the minimum, that's the amplitude. So everybody understand? Okay, so now if you go down, you will see a few, how many graphs? About five graphs, so you, and you have access slip. So I will update exit tickets. So please take pictures and email it to me. Okay, I'll stop here.